here is an Oklahoma brown tarantula, though if you found it in Arkansas, it would be called an Arkansas brown, or if you found it in Missouri, it would be a Missouri brown. We just have one species of tarantula in the central part of the United States. These are predators. Females tend to be uh, in the burrows underground and they are ambush predators. Things come along and they snag it and eat it. So they're actually able to go six months, eight months, even a year without feeding. But in the environment, they're, they're beneficial as opposed to negative. They help control things like cockroaches or caterpillars, which are really important crop pests. Tarantulas all make great pets as long as you know what you're doing and uh, uh, provide the proper care for them. Um, a wild-caught species from the central part of the United States will make a pet for five to seven, even maybe ten years if you catch it when it's young. Um, they're fairly gentle. They're easy, relatively, to take care of compared to a cat or a dog. Handleable in the spectrum of tarantulas. Their, their venom is not dangerous, though they will bite when they are threatened or frightened. And that mainly depends on how you pick them up. People don't realize that this is an eating motion and so they grab their tarantula and of course it will bite them because it's scared. In the entire world, in the entire history of time, there has never been a human death or human illness from a tarantula bite. They just are not venomous enough to have effects on bodies as large as ours. Even a small human body is much bigger than any prey that they would eat.